All right, let's begin with KCAL 9's Tom Waite in Wrightwood. And Tom, how close to the flames are you right now? Well, Jeff and Susie, first off, the firefighters here are doing such an incredible job. And those flames are very close to the city of Wrightwood. And it was pretty dicey here just a few minutes ago. You can see on this hillside flames flaring up here. It's pretty much decimated this hillside. And this is a critical line of defense here. If these fires cross the road where we are near Highway 2, Wrightwood could have been in serious danger. Raging flames once again cut through the night sky, tearing across a hillside on the outskirts of Wrightwood. The spot is a critical barrier. Firefighters are making their stand here. If these flames break through the line, Wrightwood could be in grave danger. Throughout the evening, crews dug in literally using dozers and other heavy equipment to beat back the raging flames. And this is the big concern. Hot spots flaring up just outside of Wrightwood. Take a look at this. This hillside going up now. It's probably going to burn all the way down to the road. And while it looked like things calmed down, the fire erupted once again. Walls of flames jumping into the air, spraying embers everywhere. The flames kept on marching north, and just as one area was cleared, another one would blaze up. Stressful at times, packed up since last night. Angela Adams left when the evacuation orders were given, but was able to get back into town to check on friends. It's a scary thing. We've had to do it. This is the first time we actually had to, like, leave. Um, we've been on standby a few times. So it's scary, you know, because you try to get everything out of your house and kids are safe. I've got two kids in Victorville and my little one's with me. Firefighters flooded the neighborhoods in and around Wrightwood. Many people obeyed the orders to leave, but many also stayed in their homes, including this family. Right across the street, uh, he's a firefighter and left the hoses. So he evacuated us and then he stayed behind and got everything pretty much all hosed down. Live pictures once again of the hillside. So much dry brush, so much fuel here. These flames just eating it all up, continuing to flare up, and the embers going up into the sky, landing down, and another hot spot pops up. It's just almost an impossible job for firefighters here. You can imagine how exhausted they must be, and they're doing such an excellent job. As we've said, no homes in Wrightwood have been damaged so far, but they are very close. There's homes I can see from right here. The lights on there tonight. Some people have not evacuated, even though those mandatory evacuations. Evacuation orders remain in effect. 